Hello everyone, what's up, man? What's up, Kimmy? Seven so six, yeah, woo! So last episode, we basically saw a couple being very, how do I say, badass, because they literally defeat one of the individual bosses. What should I say? The the kingdom's strongest magician mages, and of course, the assassin himself. So I mean, they did not defeat them. They just kind of showed them that they do not mess with them. So yeah, they kind of showed up last episode, and of course, in the end, they kind of have this sort of quick meet up, and then they go to separate ways again. But I saw a preview, a preview for today's episode. Apparently they're gonna meet up again for some weird reason, some maybe some nice moment between those two, I guess. So yeah, let's get started, shall we? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. I mean, to be honest, this show is just so wholesome, so it's a kind of mediocre, but it's just enjoyable to see this scene, these two, whether they can develop this love because, like, it's obvious that Alice loved Iska, but Iska is just a airheaded boy. He doesn't have any show any signs of love, the interest in Alice. But he only sees her like a interesting companion for like temporarily moment only. <laughs> see, see, Alice thinks about Iska, man. I wasn't thinking about Iska. She's such a sundar. <laughs> Dude, come on, man. Alice, just admit it. You like Iska. Maybe for the best. I mean, would they fight though? <laughs> yeah, no, they met three times and yet they did not fight. <laughs> no, they were in a good situation to fight, but they could have like, you know, discuss the time and stuff like that. Dude, she's so excited to see him, man. Dude, she's just so excited to see him. Dude, that is like not like, oh yes, they are gonna meet Iska and they are gonna fight him. That's not the sort of attitude you expect from, well, Alice. You, that sort of attitude is like, oh my god, I'm gonna miss Iska. Oh my god, I'm gonna have some nice time with her. Yeah! That's her reaction. So, yeah, you can say that Alice, she's gonna be the first one to like Iska and Iska gonna slowly develop some feelings for her. I mean, Iska, his personality though, kind of reminds me of some of those like, I don't know, protagonist that doesn't give a shit. Yeah, he only cares about his teammates, his captain. So, I mean, Iska did show some signs of interest of Alice in terms of like a fighting buddy, but not like anything love interest. But Alice though, her her reaction to any t every time she mentioned Iska, it's just like those typical girls that want to have like go, yeah, moment with the, you know, the boy she likes, so. I mean, she came on saying, oh, I want to fight him and stuff like that, dude. Will you though? <laughs> when she said fight, it turns out to be like a nice conversation with, uh, uh, you know, Iska. So I cannot take their relationship seriously at all. Or should I say, the, the Romeo and Juliet vibe between those two seriously at all. So yeah, maybe this episode we're going to get to have more of those like cringy moments between those two. But we shall see, of course. So yeah, let's get started, shall we? <laughs> Minus 200 points for what? <laughs> for what? Oh, for being captured? Oh, for being captured, of course. Hmm. I mean, she did get captured and complicated the situation, though. But, I mean, what can she do in the situation, to be honest? Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, she did it. Oh, I mean, that's what Iska do as a protagonist. <laughs> Dude, you're the captain, man. Why are you going through all that? Uh huh. Dude, this guy is just like, okay, he, she apologized. I'm fine with it. You're the captain, man. Yeah, all he cares about that you're okay. And I can tell you guys this: she gonna fall in love with this car. I'm, 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 I'm just saying this right now. Hmm. Maybe the the portal affected her. Maybe it's the portal that affected her. I think it's the portal that affected her. The wormhole that fell into. Mm -hmm. I take you all into the sovereignty. Your mission is to capture. Wow, wow. Okay, capture the queen nebulous. Dude, it's not gonna be easy, okay? Dude, they make it sound so easy. Exactly. 
It's not gonna be an easy mission at all. He's stop joking around, man. Dude, you know there'll be like high security, of course, those mages there too, right? Yeah, just Iskar mostly. <laughs> yeah, through uh, under the ground or something. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Using astral crest as a passport. I mean, last episode they used they betrayed them with their you know tracking device thing. Mm hmm. Dude, come on, man. You really think you can sneak into it that easy? Oh, really? Through the underground? Through disguise, or maybe? Um, yeah, through disguise, through backstabbing. I don't know. We shall see. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's through some sort of like dirty work. That's how they got into the sovereignty. Oh, look. She's waiting for Iskar, isn't she? Yeah, she's in her dress, everyone. She's in her dress. Let's go. <laughs> Here it is. We have been looking for Isco with no signs of him. Why would he be here? He, you didn't like probably invite him, did she? I mean, she didn't though, but she was expecting him to. But he's busy right now preparing for the invasion. Mm hmm. He could be... He's alive, man. Dude. Of course he cannot die. He's a protagonist after all. Really? Do you really want to fight him that badly? More like you want to meet him so that we have a nice conversation. Dude, that's not gonna work, man. That's, you're gonna get lost. Dude. She's gonna get lost, man. <laughs> so clumsy. I gotta say, Alice is like one of those airheaded clumsy girls. To be our next queen. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm going to take the throw. I mean, duh, of course. The president in preparation for the election. Dude, come on. When you. Everyone wants the throne. It's basically the king's of throne. People fight for it. Dude, even the maid knows. Come on, man. I shall severe the link. Oh my god, that would go so well. That would go so well. Yeah, in the end, she's gonna support the relationship. It's the thing to expect from this. I mean, she may try to break the bond, but then she realized that she needs Iskar. Yeah, I just go see a doctor for God's sake. <laughs> Girls don't get rashes. Oh, really? Then show us then. Exactly. <laughs> you have the meds. Okay. Take off the jacket. Mm -hmm. Not even the voice. Wait. As in take off as in here. As in here. Literally take, take it off. Wait. Everything. Wait, what? Oh, okay, thank god you have a shirt underneath. Oh, what's that? Oh, I knew it! The vortex. Knew it. I think it's the done, it's a doing by the vortex. I think she's cursed. She's cursed. She's cursed, isn't she? She's cursed. Hmm. Yeah, it's not like she's gonna get tattooed there. Hmm. Yes, Iska, calm down. You need to calm down, Kaicho. I'll, I'll. Don't worry. You'll be fine. She won't be fine. Mm hmm. Yeah, exactly. It has to be the vortex. How else you should be able to have that tattoo, tat, um, tan to her. Mm hmm. <laughs> so basically there's a spirit lizard living inside of her right now and she could be possessed anytime soon and attack Iskar and that's what she's scared about 
Yep. Yeah, in, in a nutshell, she becomes the very thing that she they have been destroying. She became the very thing they trying to destroy. Either either she either she find ways to get out through the empire, the mage's kingdom, or she get executed. <laughs> yeah, no, two options. Is God not gonna let this slide, man? He gonna find ways to help her. Hmm. We follow your orders. Make the decision. Oh my God, Iska, man, staying loyal to her. He will never backstab her. Mm hmm. Hmm. Nice one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yo, there is options like that, indeed. But that's just like the easy option. I mean, sooner or later if we find out though. But dude, she can do whatever it takes. Yep, this will be your option. We'll be here for you. She, I know, right? Then we'll take it. We'll take the bullet too, with, alongside with you. We are a team. We, take the, we, we die together, we fight together. Mm -hmm. Dude, best teammates, man. Dude, best teammates. Best teammates. Best teammate. Dude. Dude, best teammate, man. Dude, this is a dude, this is why I call dude good teammate. I love this team. We're here for you, Captain. We are we're not gonna leave you behind. We'll do whatever it takes to help you get out of the situation. Oh, oh. Dude, dude, that is just beautiful stuff right there, man. Haha, <laughs> see, she's knackered. There goes a third day, and then now they're going on an invasion mission. Hmm. We can't give up. Wow, she guy fuck. Hmm. What? Jesus Christ, she's not gonna give up, is she? <sighs> man, she's madly in love with him, man. If she's not showing it, but she's, yeah. How's Captain? I mean, she should be calmed down by now through the very beautiful moments we did just have right there. Mm -hmm. There's no way. The Saint Despo will miss it. Hmm. Then she's fucked. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, damn. They need to kill those spies in the kingdom. You know, if the mages come across the captain with the, the crest, then they will kidnap her and expose her. So they gotta get rid of the spies, man. But how would he do that though? I mean, maybe he's got no way though. Hmm. So it seems like they need to get rid of the spies first to protect the captain. That is like the most suitable strategies right now. Oh look, there she is. Oh, okay. I mean, Alice gonna appear sooner or later anyway, so this should be quite interesting. This should be quite interesting. Cause you know, the captain have some feelings for Iskar. It's, it's visible. Peaceful, like how peaceful? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I mean, they have the astral power, they have some mutant powers, of course, people fear them. That's why they formed this empire to eliminate them. 
this, we can still end this war. You know how? Marry the queen of the king of the kingdom. <laughs> Come connect everyone. That's how Romeo and Juliet works. We'll go through this together. Oh, beautiful stuff, man. Mm. Dude, are you sure she's the captain, man? She looks like more of those like sisters that you want to protect your ass out. And then we get she go and buy juice, and then yeah, Alice appears. Yeah, this can go. This can turn ugly. I would say. Oh look! Speaking of the devil, <laughs> she's here. <gasps> Uh, yeah, like I said, marry the strongest person in your kingdom and then, you know, form a connection and that's how politics works. Ish. Mm -hmm. We have to enter this war. There will be blood. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's not gonna be that easy, man. Especially with the fact that Alice is going to be staying his way. Exactly, it makes things worse between those two. And look, Alice is going to come across. Aha! 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 Behind you, Alice. Behind you. Turn 80. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Mm. Oh, dude, do did you realize this? <laughs> Wait, you're telling me he didn't notice her? Wow, that was just stupid. <laughs> I mean, that's the bright sunlight. Why not? I guess. Yeah, did he ask you to look for her? And look for him? Ah, 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 this will be good. Hmm, what now? Awkward. So, let me sit next to you. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> of course he will. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. <laughs> We're equals. Oh, Jesus, the logic, man. <laughs> Just admit it, you want to sit with him. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Awkward, I know. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Dude, it hasn't been that long, okay? <laughs> Pondering about something. Or should I say, thinking about life. Mm -hmm. No, don't tell her. Exactly, thank you. No, she's not. <laughs> the exact, that's the, the reason. <sighs> A temporary truce. Um, yeah, there's no way you're gonna say no to that pose, right? There's no way you're gonna say no to that face and that boob right in front of you. <laughs> of course, perfect timing, maid. <laughs> perfect timing, Rin. Oh wow, you blame him now? Of course he survived. Why do he, he's not gonna die that easily? Mm hmm No, don't take Don't take it from your enemies. They put they could put something in it. But 
Mm -hmm. Uh, fine, he's gonna drink it. Hmm. Oh, I knew it. Hmm. Dude, I yes, dude. Hmm. What? Wait, what? She reacted to it. I knew it. I just fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Don't drink things from the. Te Of course you did! <laughs> of course you did! Oh my... Jesus Christ! Iska, you better than this! <laughs> now I'm just gonna hate you! Oh my god, he went. Thank god it's just a sleeping poison. Just thank god it's just a sleeping drug. She could have just put a poison in that. Oh my god, seriously, man. And yeah, the captain is back, guys. Perfect timing, captain. Do your thing. Uh, this can go ugly. This can end. This can end ugly. <laughs> mhm. Mm oh my god. Hey, hey, there we go. She's using her astral power. <laughs> oh my god Wow So Wow Okay So just like that He's gonna get captured So this guy is basically in the enemies <sighs> Wow Iskar You're better than this for fuck's sake You just drank that out Like seriously when the enemy give you A drink Or anything of anything edible Don't eat it Be he was just like, oh, okay. It tastes. He smells weird. When some, when you say a fruit that doesn't smell different to saying the fruit, don't drink it. I mean, he tried. He wanted to be rude, though. That's the thing. He wanted to be like more respectful with the fact that she, he's been giving some drink to, out of kindness. Yeah, kindness. Ah, Rin, man. You, he should know that Rin, the maid, is like the only one that that not like really fond of him. So I mean, he does he 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 doesn't know that, but he should at least be aware of it. He's he's like one of the strongest in the empire, okay? And he and he just let that slide. <laughs> wow. And the captain, though, he did she did actually use some astral power, though. But yeah, I think that's only based on her feel. Uh, you know, when she would, like show some feelings, you know, like deep feelings, then she elicit that power. But I mean. She could actually control it if she actually think about it. I mean, she just went berserk, just like ran just through a tan tantrum and just go for it. And so she basically just, you know, panic. She can't do much about it. But I'm pretty sure if she somehow think think about it, she can actually control the actual power. But oh well. I mean, now Iskar has now been captured to the, to the Mage's Empire. Oh, according to plan. I mean, the last part of this, this episode, she said that, oh, Iskar got captured to the Empire. Oh, according to plan. I think that's what she said. I think that's what she, she said, though. Hmm, it's being kidnapped. 
and she doesn't seem too concerned so I'm pretty sure it was all part of the plan though like just to like get Iska to the empire just get Iska to like the empire I uh, don't know no, to the um, the mages area the sovereignty and you know to uh, ambush them from the inside well next episode is it's gonna you're gonna you know find ways to escape the sovereignty and in this also like trying to like, come across Alice and Rin or oh, but you know fight his way out of it I would say so next episode he could learn something about the mages kingdom too because you know he's in the region and of course act as a, deco a decoy to while the empire strikes from the outside I think that's what they're intending to do with this guy situation right here but man I just say the good teammates in this episode but the captain though, I feel sorry for her. She couldn't do much about it. But again, Iska, you 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 are an idiot for God's sake. <sighs> oh well, what can I say, man? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like, turn on the ten. See you next time. Guess guess then.